Welcome to KFC Single Devotional for the 23rd of July 2021. The topic for today is My Thought Provoking Letter to My Melancholy Husband, Part 2. Dear, you are an unrepentant perfectionist and you are hard to please. Oh my, my, very hard to please. You are very gifted and you know that. Others know that too very well from their comments about your abilities and the combination of those things you can do. You have also been more praised by so many people in your short life than a person gets in his entire lifetime on your brilliance and out of this world mind. With all of that there, you sometimes amaze me when you make negative statements about yourself. I am completely at a loss. It seems to me that on one part, you know you are very good and brilliant. On the other part, you easily slip into depression and you don't seem to appreciate all that God has done for you. Dear, you are always seeing issues from negative perspectives. There are several times I try to compliment you, but the response I get is that of skepticism. You are suspicious of almost everybody, and it is hard, it is so hard for you to forgive. How you love to internalize and get bitter about everything. You hardly go for counseling. You would rather go through issues with smooth swings. I love your poems, your appreciation of nature, and how you try to capture it with words and music. But understand that the children and I also have also need some time of fun and time out. These are the few things I can remember now, but I see a glorious future as a couple. Dear, all your areas of gifting were given to you by God to be a blessing to our generation and generations unborn. Let us be grateful to God while we work on these other areas that the man that God has in mind when he created you might become a full reality. Dear, I love you and I believe in you. Apart from Jesus, you are the best thing that happened to me. I love you. Confession for the day. I declare that I have a spirit-filled temperament. My weaknesses will not limit me. I exchange my weaknesses for his strength. Prayers for the day. Lord, I ask for your grace that is sufficient for me. I ask that you open my eyes more to be able to maximize my strength and minimize my weaknesses in Jesus' name. Thoughts for the day. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 50 message translation. I need to emphasize, friends, that our natural earthly lives don't in themselves lead us by their very nature into the kingdom of God. Their very nature is to die. So how could they naturally end up in the life kingdom? Action plan for the day. Identify bad habits and eliminate them. Create a routine of good habits.